Oh my god. Hookers, dude. <laughs> Hello, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. I'm your humble narrator, and welcome back to Temtem. -tem. I've got a surfboard now that I won from the Dojo Master. So I think the next step now is to uh, find find somewhere to surf. I saw some people surfing around in the uh, town back the other way, so maybe I'll try and find my freaking way out of here. And then we could go try that out. There's also an airship or some such that uh, will take me to the next dojo. But I'm not quite sure that I'm ready for that yet, so we're just going to hang out for a little bit. Catch some Temtems, do the thing. I think this is where the airship is. Oh boy. Adia Tere, this is who I'm supposed to talk to. Who are you and why are you bothering me? Uh, Sophia sent me. She does, does she? Hmm. Listen, I have great respect for the Dojo Master, and you must be quite a tamer if she trusts you like that. But we're already fully crewed. I don't need another cabin kid. You can always use a tamer. In the air? No, my friend. Up there, there are only currents, the pan sun, and a big bag of hot air. That's all that stands between you and death when you're an air sailor. However, listen, we're missing a passenger. Some sort of an omnesian scholar of Temtem, a certain Tehani. If you can find her as soon as possible, I might squeeze you in the cabin somehow. Where is she? Last time we spoke, she said she was heading to Turquesa. Something about a local variety of Temtem or such. What's she look like? Let me see, she looks like an Amnesian Temtem scholar, what do I know? She probably changes clothes daily, as people do. Oh, people do? I don't. Anyways, deal. Atta folk, now run to Turkasa and bring her back. We have to take off soon or we'll get delayed. So yeah, I'm supposed to go all the way back to Turkasa. Hooray, what an adventure we shall have. But at least I'll be able to uh, surf some, some waters, I suppose. That'll be nice. A, a chance to stretch my legs, catch some new Temtem. At least I hope. It's probably gonna be like, oh, you found another Saipat. Oh, you found another uh, Narswol, whatever it's called. But I hope that that, that won't be the case. The Lassian Cliffs. Hey, buddies. Let's go ahead and cruise. Can I find the water? I hear it. I hear it over there. I want to take a dip. I want to take a little swim swam with my Tim Tam. <laughs> Play with my Jim Jam. Ah, another scale. Yes, indeed. As you can clearly see, I, I have one of you already. I don't require your assistance. It's level 9. That's cute. I wonder what the max level is. I assume it's 100. But, uh, you never can tell, can you? Oh, this is that that place that's not open quite yet. Well, okay. So am I, am I running into a dead end here? Short answer? Hell yeah. Oh my god, dude. I totally forgot how to get back. Is there supposed to be like an underpass somewhere? I, I wish I could just like leap off with a little hang glider or something. Manok looks like she knows how to fly. That should work fine, right? I guess this is the way. Down and around. Yes, sir. Oh, and what's this? Work in progress. Boring. <laughs> oh, there, there, there. Let's do some surfies. Oh, wait. First, kakus. Kakus everywhere. No, please. Leave me alone, guys. I'm very busy, as you can see. Maybe I'll find a little squiddy boy. Maybe I'll find, like, a narwhal. Oh, I didn't even have to, like do a prompt or anything they're just like okay you ran into the water here you're, you're surfing you're surfing now five tem cards 
Everybody's surfing over here, man. This must be the hot spot. Ooh! Two new Temtems. Yes, indeed. This will add quite a... In addition to my collection, I think. Let's go ahead and smack up Umishi first. I'm probably gonna get destroyed by Nesla, but... Oh well. Sorry, Mano. <laughs> I wish you weren't four times weak. That's it's, it's horrible. It's like leaving your Caesar in on a fire move. It's just, just, just basic. I don't know why I picked Eat Log. Eat Log's also gonna get smacked up by an electric move, but... Okay, dude, whatever. Um, go ahead and peck. And I'll try a Tem card. Why not? Maybe it'll work. No, no, not at all. A little peck. Go on. Oh, boy. Squirrel, hang in there, bud. More Tem card. Now I'm doing this now. Come on. Come along. Oh, fart. At least it didn't break th free with no effort. It broke free with some effort. Eat Log is actually able to eat those electric attacks pretty good. I'm liking that. Don't knock yourself out, you little bastard. Oh my god. It is. It's overexerted. That is so sad. I don't quite have the words. But I guess... I guess we'll find another one. Really, this, this big boy with the chain lightning is what I truly want. So let's go ahead and scratch and get some venomous claws and... Holy shit! I knocked it out. <laughs> okay. This catching expedition has not gone well. Oh, fart. Yeah, catching things is extra hard when you got friggin' stamina to think about as well, huh? That is tough. So, is, is poison strong against water? God, I, I... I just have no idea what's going on. Here comes the water cannon. You'll be alright. Hang in there. Venomous claws? It is. It's very strong. Don't kill him. Oh, <laughs> Oh, that's... Whoops. Well, at least we're getting a chance to, to see some of the, the local sites and find out what Temtems are over here and whatnot. Come on, give me more. This is like the hot spot. There's a reason people are over here. I think it's that Nestla thing. That thing is really awesome. And then if you can get a Temtem that like has a uh, Volt Absorb like the Nestla does, then yeah, you can just constantly heal yourself and damage your enemy. That is fantastic. So Squirrel, I'm just gonna have you wait. Quackers, you do that like super dooming Venom Claws thing. Yeah, I think poison is strong against water. I guess it does make sense, doesn't it? A little bit, maybe? You don't want to have poison in your water, or else the water is, is done. You can't use it for nothing. It broke free. Come on. Come with me. Yes, do it. Super. It's so cute. It's got caffeinated. <laughs> prevents the asleep status condition. Oh, that's good because I was totally gonna switch in and uh, try and put it to sleep. All right, so let's name him. What is he like a a squid or something? I don't know. I'm gonna call him Pusit. He kind of looks like a squid to me. Pusit is um squid. <laughs> it's a gala, if you didn't know. If nothing else, uh, we're learning Tagalog in the in the Temtem game, so that's nice. Now, really, I just need to find a freaking Nestla, because that seems to be the only uh, other thing that's over here, at least that I found. 
There might be something with like a super rare five percent spawn. I know that um Barnchi Manolk had a very rare spawn rate. I had to hang out at the top of the um the fortress. What is that place called? Windward Fort. For a very long time. In order to finally find my Barnchi. And it, it didn't actually take me that long. Maybe what, 10 minutes? Which I guess is a long time to be hunting. Speaking of, we've been hunting for about 10 minutes here now. So, I don't know. I guess one more, uh, one more group. And I'll be like, okay. Maybe I'll just go catch it off screen. I got other stuff to do, you know? I got important missions, alright? Yep, yep. Totally important. Super important missions. Come on, just give me one more. All I ask, just one more chance to catch a Nestle. And it's an Umishi again. Well, okay. I suppose the Nestle can wait. I gotta train anyways and get them all up to level 20-ish. So I guess that's that's fine. And who knows, there might be more water somewhere down the road. Am I on the right track now? Seems so. Good. Thank goodness. I was quite worried. I'm like, I don't I don't understand anything anymore. How did this happen to me? Hmm. That bridge did not look familiar to me. Turquesa. Bricaldemar. Hmm. Am I supposed to know where Terquesa is? Maybe it's over over the water there. What is that? God, that looks so cool. I love it. I love it. Can I check my quest log somehow? Well, here's quest, but it doesn't want to show me. How about this? How about this? I know there's supposed to be like a little boy or something who wanted to see my my pig. I was going to show that boy my hog. <laughs> Gross. That's alright. I'll worry about it later. I ain't even got the pig at the moment. I could pull out Umishi and try and train it up, but I want to see what other water things are available. Oh shit, here's battles. Didn't expect that. Hi you, it's good to see some new faces around. Are you catching Temtem? Yeah, this is normally a really good spot to get water Temtem, but those two there on the pier have been arguing for hours, and they scared away all the Temtem, so... So, wanna fight? Yeah, that'd be a nice break from this routine. Let's get down to business. To defeat the Huns! Did they send me daughters? There's that Nestla thing again. Oh god. It's terrifying. Uh, I'm going to go into Gulai. Immediately. And... God, already they've caught up in levels. This is uh, a freaking MMO. <laughs> you gotta do a lot of grinding in an MMO. And it seems that that's the case for me as well. Not very effective? Good. Excellent. Let's get rid of this Nestle straight off. A bit of crystal dust, another bit of fierce claw, and we should say goodbye to our dear Nestla. I didn't realize there would be battles in the Sierra River, but hey, who can predict things like that, you know? That's just life. Alright, destroy him. Destroy him! That so good. So I'm finally getting some things down. I'm like, okay, I know that this is weak against that, so let's do that. And it seems to work. I guess it's okay. High pressure water. Ooh! I'm feeling the pressure now. Also umbrella. Also speed up. Umbrella and amphibian. It's like a really good combination, isn't it? It's quite functional. So we'll go ahead and crystal dust again. And Held Anger? Yeah, why not? Sure. 
couldn't hurt. Oh, I thought Zoe was a boy. That's not her hair. It's like a a, a swim cap. I, I guess, yeah. I guess I shouldn't presume such things. Destroy him! Quack, quack. Sorry, side pet. Still love you. Hooray! Manok leveled up. Everybody's getting to level 21. Oh, well played. It's pretty clear I need better Tim Tim. I mean, your Tim Tim's good, you know? You just... You got that Nestla. I'm pretty jealous of that. At the very least. Let's put Bumblebug and Eat Log in the front. Hooray! Are you are you looking for a fight too? Hey, good fight, friend. Let's see if I can catch some new Tem Tem and do better next time. Oh no, it's you that wants a fight, isn't it? Hey! Hi, nice meeting you, Surfer. Where are you off to? Turquesa. That's a pretty town. Very peaceful. No loud tourists, just fishermen and tamers. Go hey, go say hi to my friend Giada at the Riverine Fellowship. And before you go, why don't we have a little battle? I'm tired of swimming. Yep, that's what I'm here for. I must harvest your experience, woman. <laughs> it's not the same way it sounds. Oh, you have the exact same team that I do. Alright, now it's really on. Now it's on for really reels. Windburst is fucking useless. Okay. <laughs> I lied. S immediate switch. Um, I'll go ahead and DC beam that Paharok. That should work okay. Did she have three Temtem? Four? Just the two? I didn't notice. Bam! That's good stuff. A bit of wind burst on Gulai. That hurts. Well, well, well. I'm not going to waste my... My, uh... Items on this. She does have three Temtem. I... Presume that because of the level and no other reason. So I guess that's good. Go ahead, super effective. Yes. That's nice. Gulai got knocked out by a resisted hit? Bro. Genki also chain lightning himself, so. <laughs> I guess that's good. Go ahead and send out Manok. Hey! been such a pain in the ass for me, now it's a pain in the ass for you. Ukama. Oh, that must be the evolved form of Umishi. We're learning new things every day. DC Beam! I hope that I can get a better uh, electric attack on Bumblebug at some point. Chain Lightning is technically a better electric attack. The problem is that it hits like a bunch of stuff. Instead of just the thing that I want it to hit. So if I use Chain Lightning, I would kill Manok, basically. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. But I always mess it up at the last minute. Anyways, well done, Surfer. You got some big eyes, girl. What's up with that? That was an exciting fight. Travel safe, my friend. Hell yeah, you too. Swimming in the water. Better watch yourself. Is this Turquesa? Have I arrived now? Oh, this is just like a little Temtem one-stop shop. Maybe I should be uh, spending some of these Pan Suns, right? A few more items couldn't hurt. Hi, not many people come this far. Great to see you. How's your day? Good serving? Caught many Temtem? Too many questions! <laughs> No, no, no! Too many questions! Oh man, bombs are so expensive. Alright, well, there's something. Ah, cruising on the water. Damn, dude, I could go all the way back to hometown. Is this Turquesa? I guess it is. Wowzers. Got quite a ways to go. Whatever. I haven't found any Temtem in this water quite yet. So I'm I'm just waiting. Just waiting for the wild battles. Hey bruh, you seen any Temtem out here? And he's like, yeah, dude, right over there. And I'm like, cool. Oh, it's just an Umishi. Again. 
That's disappointing. Leave me alone. I want no part of it. Thank you. you want some more battle? There's more battle over there. Is this... is this... Oh, I thought I could slip by him. <laughs> Not quite. Oh my goodness, no, Patricia, don't. Shh, just shut up and learn. Hey, hi there. I'm Patricia. This is my friend Kaya. You guys looking for a three-way? <laughs> hi. Uh, hi, I'm Dayton Does. Wow, what a cool name. So anyways, my friend here thinks they're very cute. I knew it. I fucking called it. I hate you. No, you don't. So, would you like a Temtem battle to, like, you know, break the ice? Sure, I'd love to fight Kaya. Oh! <gasps> Don't just leave me alone here! Okay, try with both of us at the same time. See if you manage. Oh, jeez. What the heck are you doing? You a favor! God, you guys are only used to disappointing one woman at once. <laughs> oh. Ah. I missed, I missed that. What'd they send out? Big shark thing? Big shark thing, little shark thing. Okay, well. Destroy big shark thing. Go on. I guess I could chain lightning. Let's see. Bounces three times clockwise. Dealing decreasing damage. So I could start it out over here. And then it would go one, two, three. Or would it just hit everybody? I guess we'll find out. We'll test it. A bit of testing. Yeah, that worked pretty good. <laughs> I did hit myself a little bit, but... Kinda worth it, I guess. So, let's, um... Let's do it again. <laughs> What'd you learn? Nothing. Okay, let's do it again. Cool. Double KO. Look at that. Knock both them girls out at the same time. Ooh-wee! It's a lot of innuendo going on. <laughs> wow, you really know how to handle your Temtem. <laughs> they know what they're doing in this game. I mean, you're good at, like, uh, stuff? Oh yeah, Dayton does. My friend Kai is staying at my place in Arisola. Why don't you come visit us later on? What the fuck? Right? See you soon. Oh my god. Hookers, dude. Oh my god, Dayton Dust is still looking this way. Relax, girl. I just I just want no part of this. Can you believe that? You're just like, oh hi, we're swimming in the same water. Might as well mush our genitals together. Is that is that how it goes? Is that how that works? That's how you do things around here? I roger that. <gasps> Ooh! New Temtems. Sweet. Okay, you guys, be gentle. They're low levels, okay? So, um... Be gentle. <laughs> I don't even know what to do. They're probably gonna start hurting themselves with stamina before I even get the chance to... to catch both of them. But I'm still gonna try. Alright. Water blade, water blade. Sounds good. I'm going for the Kalazoo first. Um, I guess. Peck does like no damage. It's really good because it comes out fast, but no damage at all. And now they're teaming up on Eat Log. Okay. Um, Peck that thing again, and we'll try to catch the Shark Boy. You are Shark Boy, Shark Boy, made from man and shark. Come on. Come on. Oh. My God. I hate everything. <sighs> it was so close. <laughs> it was so close. Okay, now we gotta go for the Kalazoo. Kalamazoo, la michikaboo, la bibbity bobbity boo. Catch all the temtem and what do you got? Lots of little duty things. You caught Kalazoo. Mithridatism prevents poisons. And he's missing a leaf on his breeding tree thing. Whatever. 
Rename. I know it's probably not gonna let me rename it hentai. Ah, fart. Uh, we'll just call him Squidward. Squidward. Hmm. How about the other one? You coming with me? Huh? Yeah, you are. Good boy. Double up, double up. Uh. Damage done with water techniques is increased by 15%. Well, I would hope so from a water temtem. Pating! Shark! Into Kalak. I'm just super clever. I'm just so super clever. Oh. Okay. Well done, everybody. I still don't have a Nestla, but you know what? I guess I guess that's just the way things go. Zatterfolk on a board. Now I've seen truly everything. Why? Well, you people always seem to stick to the Brakal de Mar Road. Never seen y'all the surf into Tequesa. Funny that. Yeah, super funny that. Hey, buddy. Find this in peace and quiet. Nothing beats the dollar for quality of life. Mark my words. If you had to work in the capital, you see this little town with different eyes. I guess you youngers, youngsters prefer Arizona, right? All that big city excitement, the crowds, the hustle and bustle. But remember this, one day, you learn to appreciate the simple pleasure of a sunny day, a good book, and a peaceful spot just like this one right here. I've never been outside. It figures, you're too young to travel on your own. One day you'll go abroad and then, who knows, maybe you'll miss all this then, when you can't see the pan sun for ages because it rains all the time in Arbury, or because you live underground in Tukma. So enjoy your childhood while it lasts, kids. These days will never come back. Too true. Too true. I'm, am I in Turquesa now? Is this where I'm supposed to be? Hey, good morning. Heading to heading to Turquesa? Yes. Well then, enjoy our little town. What do you do here? I'm a fisherman, so I fish. I look after my children. Try to make them better than I am. One day they'll be Temtem vets or Temporium owners or even Dojo masters. Something nice, far from the sea. Anything but the sea. Not fishermen like you? The Sierra River is a harsh mistress, my friend. I might look pretty to you, but you should see it on a stormy night when the mistral wind tugs at your sails like it wants to rip them apart. No, friend, if I can help it at all, my children will have a better life. That's noble. Could I help? Help? <laughs> I appreciate your concern, friend, but unless you can get them a spot at Arbor University, what do they want to study? Well, I... I don't know, I guess. Maybe they want to be fishermen, dude. Just let them do what they want, man. Better talk to my wife. Uh, you don't know your own children? I... I spent too much time at sea. I miss so much of their childhoods. I have regrets, my friend. Damn, dude. That's deep. I'll ask your mom, then. Thank you, friend. She's pacify. She's home now. Just over there. Th that's so sad. I had a, a dream right before I sat down to record that I had uh, gone to jail and was watching my son grow up through plate grip plate glass and god I woke up just like feeling the most horrible that I've felt in the longest I truly truly would hate that so I'm uh taking a, a non-violent approach to things from now on it's like yeah you want to punch somebody but you could go to jail just just get punched you might go to the hospital but you'll get to go home afterwards <laughs> don't go to jail for years and years and years especially whether you, whether you go to Philippines jail or American jail bad fucking news either way <laughs> you know what I mean they're they're both gonna lock you up for an inordinate amount of time if you go to jail in Europe I mean you kind of sitting pretty <laughs> that ain't too bad what am I doing running through the grass again every time every time uh, hey, can I go in here? Hello there. The children? It's a lot of children. Are you pacify? Hello again. Um, hello for the first time. Tell me about your son. My young boy, yes? So... I still have to speak with him. Oh, I gotta talk to the kids. Alright. Hello, children! 
Whoosh, Zam! Oh, hi, did you want to play with me? Air pirates versus airship captains. You want to be a captain? One day, yes, but I'm too young, Dad says. I've seen some boys my age at the terminal. They're cabin boys or something. I could fly too. I could try to help you get spot on the ship. For real? As a helper or something? Please, I'd love that, even if I have to wash dishes or something. I'll talk to your mom. Hope she's fine with it. I'll get my things ready. Asterion. Wants to be an airship captain. Hey, Phaedra. I'll take a break, okay? Who are you? I'm here to help you. I'm your guardian angel. What do you want to do when you grow up? I want to be a Temtemologist. I'm interested in all the scientific aspects of Temtem. Can you help with that? I could ask Professor Constantinos. What? You know the renowned Professor Constantinos? He's an eminence, a guiding light in Temtemology. Yeah, he's my mentor. Wow. Can you talk to him and put in a good word for me? Maybe if he needs a research assistant or something? Alright, if you study very hard. Thank you very much. Now I have even more reasons to finish this chapter today. Aww. Hmm? Hi. Nice drawing. Oh, thanks. I know the hands are all wrong. Drawing hands is complicated. Sometimes I just draw Temtem because it's easier. Sometimes. They mostly come at night. Mostly. <laughs> so you want to be an artist? Yes, but I know it's next to impossible. My family doesn't have that much money, and you don't earn much as an artist, so... I guess I'll fish, like Dad. I'll get you a mentor. Hey, that would be awesome. There's this artist, Era, and I really love her sketches of nature, Temtem, and Omnesian airscapes. Do you think you could talk to her? Omnesia? Yeah. Or at least most of her paintings have Omnesian backdrops. I don't know exactly where in Omnesia, sorry, but she's famous. People will know. Alright. I'll try and find her for you. Excellent, thanks! I'm gonna finish this and then start a new series. Hopefully when I'm done, I'll be... Hopefully I'll be done when you come back and I'll show them to Ara. Fair, fair. Hey, can I talk to you about Asterion? I spoke to him. He wants to fly. But is he serious about it? Airships can be dangerous and it's a lonely life. What are you gonna do about it? First of all, your, your husband's a fisherman. That's dangerous. That's a lonely life. It's like the same thing, basically. I'm going to talk to an airship captain. Good call. I'm sure you can find some at the ter terminal in Aerosola. Yep, yep. Sure will. Uh, about Phaedra. I spoke to her. She wants to be a temtemologist. Hmm, do you think you can help with that? I heard the university can be a pretty closed place. What's your plan? I'll ask Professor Constantinos. That's very nice of you. We appreciate you putting in a good word with someone like the professor. Yes. About your your artist. The little eldest artist. Uh, she wants to be an artist. I'm sure she has the talent, but is that a wise choice? You don't make much money as an artist, and we can't support her all that much. Any ideas on how to help her? I know someone in Amnesia. Really? You're full of surprises. Thank you very much for helping my kids. I really appreciate it. Children are our future. Let them lead the way. <laughs> ah, well, I guess this is Turquesa. Not much to see. Not much to see at all. But, uh, okay. <laughs> I guess we're, we're gonna find Tihani shortly enough. Probably in the next episode. Ooh, look at this shiny Kaku. Ooh, Nido. I hope that you guys like, comment, and or subscribe. If you did enjoy the episode, it's always appreciated. Also, check out the links in the description to Twitter, Discord, Patreon. That would be super, super cool. Big shout out to Nico the Legend for supporting us on Patreon currently. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get some more stuff done in the next episode. This has basically been a, a laid back one, but, you know, we all deserve to have episodes like that from time to time. I hope you still manage to enjoy it. Anyways, friends, once again, this has been Temtem. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I shall see you in the next one. And until then, friends, bye bye! One, two, three, four, goodbye, goodbye, see you.